Boy, do I have an adventure today. It's time to go into the sand dunes. We're looking for three different things today. One of them being kind of like a Shan Shrew Pokemon dinosaur thing called a Velocisaurus, Velocisaurus, Velocis Queen Lat Latifasaurus. And then we also need to find ourselves an Oasisaur. And then third and final thing, I want to try to take on one of the sandworms. I'm just curious as to what we're going to need to take them out. Spyro here can take it out. That's all the more better. I'm going to head out here, see what we can and can't find, and uh, hopefully tame a whole bunch of stuff today. Here's our first ruins right here, I believe. And it looks like there might be like a little water spout. So there's like little circles of water so we can stop for water while we're out here. This one, this little ruin is built around a water. Oh, that's really cool, man. I like that a lot. If I can turn this wide radius 18 wheeler and shove his head deep enough in there, come on. So I'm just going to leave that there. Maybe we'll use it on the Faso or the Oasis or if they're lower levels and they need a little bit of help, we could leave some of those things behind. Oh, would you look at that? He just popped right in. Hello. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, it kind of reminds me of, uh, what is the, the Lion Island from Avatar, but way smaller, obviously. And can we just land right on top of him? Is he gonna get mad or something? No? I don't think he's getting mad. He does have quite a few trees and some uh, other things on him. Oh, we're just bouncing right off, are we? Oh my god, that was close, okay. Note to self, uh, land in the middle of it. Can we gather these things? It doesn't seem like I can gather them. Maybe we have to tame it first to gather it, because, like, there's sulfur right here. And I haven't really seen sulfur too, uh, too often on the map. So that's good. And then I believe we have to, like, sacrifice something in his pool? Hello? You have a nice little pool right here. And then, oh, look at the buff. Gaia's Embrace. Hmm. I wonder if that just, like, helps us with the heat or something. Maybe a few different little buffs. Don't mind if I do. Hi, buddy! You have a weird head. Does he blow air or sand out of those little holes? I don't even know. But yeah, we can access its inventory from like in the middle of this pool. And I believe this is where we want to put the soul of a dinosaur. I don't have any souls left. What the heck is... Just did 224 damage. What is going on? What just did 224 damage? Did you 20, 224 damage to my... What the heck? Was he getting angry that I was on board? What was that? Because I pooped on him? Okay, well, we need a soul. I believe we want the highest level and most complex creature to get the soul of. So, like, maybe a Carno or a Rex or something. I brought some darts with me in order to knock it out because it has to be tamed in order to get the soul of it. I want, like, a 60-plus carnivore with some teeth, I believe. Well, this area looks like it might have some evil stuff in it. Let's see. Oh, is that a thylacolio? I knew they were on the map. I just didn't know where they actually lived. It looks like they kind of live in these little barren wastelands. I would actually probably be a pretty good tame to sacrifice, but I also want one. So, like, I don't want to kill it. <laughs> level 5 T-Rex. That's not a very high level, but it is a T-Rex. I don't know if it's based on level or if it's based on size of the creature, but I'm just going to assume it's level because levels are everything. Ooh, wait a second. What the heck did that just say? I think that might be a level 70 thylacolio. Unless I'm blind. I would like to have this to not sacrifice, but for the sake of sacrificing, I think a 70 is pretty darn good. So let me see. I mean, this is going to take quite a few darts. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe we can hit him from here. No, maybe get on top of a rock underneath him or something. Let's make sure we're on passive. Oh my gosh. Is this going to be a lightning storm kicking up right now? Please don't. Please don't. No lightning. Swiper, no lightning. Please. No, I want to use my guns. I want to use my guns on the Thylacolio! Or is it just going to take place elsewhere, or is it going to be thundery everywhere? It might be thundery everywhere. 
Well, let's just hit it once. Maybe we can knock it out before the thunder comes. Or the lightning. Thunder and lightning. The whole storm. Here we go. Okay, he's going to find his way up, and then he's going to eat my ass. So let's just give this a nice bounce. Pop on Spyro. And let's try to bait him over here. I think he's going to be able to get up this as well. But that's fine. I think he might get stuck at least for a couple of shots here. There we go. I should have also brought some Trank Arrows. Just to get some ambient tame going through. I might have him in a good spot right here. He's having a hard time moving up to Spyro. Oh, he's trying to bite me as well. He doesn't even care about Spyro. Alright, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. You don't want to just bite the giant wyvern. And I'm curious, once I tame the Oasis Horror, am I going to get this soul back? Because a level 70 Thylacolia would actually be really cool, man. But I can't really name a better creature to tame it with. This should tame the Oasis Horror rather uh, easily based on its level. And do we have any prime in you? I could just shoot up the hill real quick. Yeah, let's go up the hill real quick and grab those Carnos. Hello, Carnos. I'm gonna need your prime so I can tame my sacrifice. Let's just land and eat them, how about that? There we go, there we go. Beautiful. See you later, buddy. Three prime, eight prime. Not too shabby. Um, I'm gonna go up in a little bit of melee damage. Just try to get a little bit more bite damage on this mother trucker. And it looks like the storm hasn't quite set in yet, which is good because we are gonna have to use our guns to tame the Oasisaur. I believe this is the rock we knocked him out on. Yep, that's what it looks like. And how quickly do these puppies wake up? Because, like I said, if I have to shoot home and grab some narcotics, I can. Oh gosh, I can't even get up there from here. It's like too steep. There we go. Ugh. Okay, they don't wake up too, too quick. I wonder how many eats it's going to need. Doesn't seem to get hungry very fast, so yeah, I'm going to need a few narcotics for this. Alright, coming in hot. I'm glad I did grab some narcotics because it ate one prime meat. A single prime meat and it did 9%. So this guy's actually going to take a little bit. But that's fine because we have some other things we can do while he tames. The storm uh, passed over. didn't even hit in this region. I wonder if it's because we're too close to the edge of the map or if it is like kind of in its own little zone maybe. Let's go ahead and throw this guy in here. Hit him with a few of those. We'll, we'll pop back every so often to give him a few more. Um, he's going to be level 104. Again, I feel really bad for sacrificing him, but I think that's going to be best case scenario for us to get an Oasis Or We could always find another level 70 Thylacolio, but we can't always find another Oasis Or maybe? I don't know. Maybe there's a bunch out here. I'm going to look for the Faso. F-A-S-O. Fasosaurus. Fasososaurus. Fasolopolopolis. Hippopotamus. A hippopotamus. Anonymous. The Faso Lasukis, I believe is what it's called. Oh god, that was creepy. We need to look for a little sand dune. And we have some ruins over here. Look at this. Wowee. That's cool. Kind of reminds me of the little town from Transformers. I think it was Transformers 2. Where they had that scorpion transformer. Like going under the ground and floating and popping in and out and fighting and stuff. That was so cool. It reminds me a lot of that. And I bet there's a few explorer notes in here if you were to explore. Maybe there's one in here. This is sick, though. The hole in the roof, and then this goes in? Oh, is this the entrance to a cave? Oh my gosh. Those lights going on up there? Got some matrix code coming from the ceiling? What the hell? And does that go even deeper? Wow, I bet we're probably going to have to clear this for like an artifact or something to fight the final boss in the game. On top of killing a bunch of worms and other things. That's crazy, wow. I wonder if like a bunch of the places over here are going to have like entrances into the deep. This is sick, okay. But it doesn't have what we're looking for. There's no fassos here. Any fassos up here? Another little ruin right here. 
really cool. I don't see any explorer notes immediately at the top. Actually, there is one at the top of that one. And try to get my big ass head shoved in there and see if I can get some more levels on Spyro here. Come on, turn. Going in. Ooh. Yep, I got it. Nice. Beautiful. Just gonna give us two more levels, like I said before. Do a little bit of melee damage. I might even be able to use Spyro for the Oasis or Tame. I don't know if it makes it more difficult or less difficult, but I guess we'll find out. <gasps> there he is, a Faso. But see, the problem with this is, is he's not underground. I need him to be sleepy sleep. That's the only way I can tame him. Can't tame him when he's above ground. It's not a normal tame like that, but I'm glad I found one. At least I know they spawn a little farther out in the dunes. Is that another one right there? Nope, that's a... That's a sandworm, but not the kind I'm looking for. Ooh, a deep sea crate, but in the desert. A deep desert crate. Feels like a trap, but I'm gonna check it anyway. We're good, nope. See, look at that guy behind me, you see that? Here he comes. That's what we have been looking for a little bit. I'm curious about my damage to it and its damage to me. It just hit me once and it seems like it did about 200 damage. He seems pretty weak to fire though. Maybe, maybe a little weak to fire. I need to be careful here because that Thylacolio is starting to wake up, but I do need to see if I can kill him. And he's coming right back up to me. Okay, so he's gonna chill over here. I will be right back to murder you, sir. Ooh, look at that green and gray T-Rex, level eight, okay. That's a really cool looking little belly. That might be like a baby that grew up or something. Unless they still have like the Easter colors going around, I'm not sure yet. That's the first one I've seen with that much lime green on his belly, especially wild. Hello Thylacolio, I'm here to feed you your green juice so you don't wake up. It's got kale and a bunch of other stuff. It's really healthy for you, I promise. And I'm totally not just taming you to murder you. Don't worry about that. He fell into the rock. Okay, well, looks like we're breaking a rock then. Good thing I didn't come here with like two seconds remaining on him waking up. Otherwise, I would have really freaked out breaking up that rock. Come on, can you, can you go away from me? Oh, you're inside this rock too. Okay, lovely. Let's break this one as well. Here's something evil. How'd that feel, buddy? Please, try again. Okay, well, did you listen? Are you trying again? I oh, know it's a baby one. Poor guy, I just killed your father, but it was his fault. It was not, it was not your fault, trust me. Please do not go on a big savior arc and- Oh, there's another one. All right, you know what? Just because of that, I'm doing this as well, mother trucker. How's that? I'm gonna give him a bunch. I wanna make sure he's at nearly 100% asleep for when I leave. Oh, I hear something else coming. What else is coming? Another baby? I feel bad, but I also don't. There you go. All right, that should be more than enough narcos to keep him out for a bit. Let's go hunt that sandworm. He was over here somewhere by the deep sand crate. Okay, here's the deep sand crate that I was trying to land at, and he kind of moved a little more inland. We're gonna look for the dust on the ground. I wanna make sure I land for some stamina before I start burning him again. I guess we could just grab the crate for now. And then just kind of circle the area a little bit. It looks like they move quite a bit. Here we go. What's gonna be inside this puppy? Ooh, a 221 pistol. That's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. That's quite a bit of damage. That might help us in the caves a little bit, maybe? Perhaps? And what is the unconsciousness rate? Is it going up or down? It's still going up. Okay, so good. We're chilling. Let's find this damn worm. Oh gosh. Okay. Being out in the sand when one of these is coming in is probably the scariest thing ever. I just saw it coming two seconds ago. And now look at this visibility. I'm... It's also lightning going on. I think I'm gonna have to head back to my tent. We're just gonna slowly start filling up with sand too. Should have brought my tent with me, but honestly putting a tent down in this 
is uh, probably not a good idea. Because a sandworm could just come right up under that tent and take me out pretty easily. And the storm is over. All right. I'm going to return when the Thalicolio is tamed, guys. Just like that, level 104 Thylacolio, but we have to do this. We have to unfortunately do that. No. Oh, I feel bad. I didn't want to do that, but we have to. And then we get it soul, and it's a level 104. And now we have to take this soul of the Thylacolio and feed it to the Oasisaur. <gasps> Wait a second, though. Look. Look what we see. I saw him. I saw him, like, pop into the sand. Look. That's one of those holes that we're looking for. See that little sand dune chunk right there? That's what we need. So that's going to be the Faso, and we need to blow him up. And then I need a C4. And I need to sneak up to this thing and blow it up out of the ground. This is a good location because there's actually a lot of stones for it to eat right here. If you get them a little too far out into the sand dunes, they could be pretty hard to tame because there's no t uh, no sand or uh, no rocks nearby. Plenty of sand, not a lot of rocks. And then I'm just going to really take my time. I don't want to get too close, but I don't want to get be too far away. I'm just going to deal with that guy now while we have the chance. Let's sneak on up and throw some boom boom on him. Not sure how far I can throw this C4, and I don't know how close we can get to him without him waking up. But I'm just going to try to get as close as humanly possible. Okay, that went nowhere. What am I hearing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, well, we found everything we are looking for all at once. There's a sandworm right there, man. Okay, maybe we can get the sandworm to pop out of the ground. Kill it, and then... Then deal with the Faso? I don't know. I might end up waking up the Faso just by flying near it. But obviously we can't tame that with a sandworm nearby. There's the sandworm. Nice. Okay. It's not an alpha one, right? I don't see any Cheeto dust. But I'm going to land again because I think that's going to get him to come out. Come on, sandworm. I'm stepping on your sand. You got to be... A little upset about me stepping on your sand, right? You don't like when people step on your sand? Hey, buddy. Where did you go? Did he disappear? Are we good to try this again? Famous last words? Might be famous last words. I think we're good. Alright, let's try it again. I'm gonna leave the wyvern a little closer this time. <laughs> Just in case. Let's go back out. This is the worst idea I have probably ever had. Because I feel like the sandworm's gonna get pissed again. And wanna eat my beans. My little toe beans are gonna get eaten. Let's try this again. I left a C4 on the ground right here, right? Yes. I want to take this. Because I do not want to accidentally blow myself up. I can hear it breathing. I don't know if that's close enough. A little closer. Is that is that close enough? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to see if that's enough. There we go. Zero damage. That's what we wanted. Nice. And then we ride it under the sand, and we make it eat rocks. I don't know what the control is. I don't know what torpidity is. Oh, it looks like we gain control by eating the rocks. Okay. But he like. Did he pop out of the- oh, did he leave the sand? Did that cause him to not tame? Oh, so we have to make sure we're in the sand while we do it, too. Alright, well, we're learning. That's our first attempt at it, so... I guess it would make more sense to find rocks out in the sand, but I'm a little concerned about... sandworms catching up to me while I do that. Oh, is there another one right there? Oh, there's another one right here. Okay. I didn't know they were gonna be this abundant. Um, and is there any rocks out in the sand that we can work with? I think is like the... Look at all those rocks right there. Actually, this is really nice. Um, let me clear out some of the evil stuff. Get rid of that vulture there. 
and then get rid of these stupid, stinky Titan Aboas down here. I'm not sure if they'll even attack the Faso or not. I, I, I think I've seen wild Fasos walking around getting attacked by them, so I'm assuming they will get attacked. So I'm just going to take them out just in case. Make it nice and safe for them. Little water bug right there is not going to do anything. Burn that bug. Burn it with fire. And then the vulture. I don't think the vulture is going to be too much of an issue. And now we have a better idea of like proximity. To uh, wake it up out of the ground. Real quick, I am going to make you neutral. Because if we piss off a sandworm, I want him to at least fight back. And we know they only do about 200 damage a bite, so we could probably get back here before it kills him. So let's try this again. Get kind of close. The explosion just has to slightly hit him, and then I want to bring him over to those rocks over there. Is that close enough? I guess we're going to find out, right? There we go. I think it was close enough, because he woke up. And then we scoot him down to these rock piles right over here. And we got to keep him in the sand. He likes the sand. He doesn't want to leave the sand. Oh, and we just run him into the rocks? Or does he need to eat the rocks? Oh, I think we just run him into them. Oh, and then do we feed him after? Oh, I see. So he's headbutting the rocks for torpidity. I hope there's enough rocks here. There might not be. Let's just keep turning him around. You can kind of direct him and make him go the way you want him to, but... At the same time, you kind of can't at the same time. And it looks like we're going to run out of rocks here, but I'm going to try to get him to hit every single one before we head up to the right here. And look for a few more. Hopefully there's some more close by. All right, headbutt that. And then there's still a little one. If I can't get him to hit this one, then we'll go over the dune to the left. There we go, headbutt. All right, up and over here. Come on, buddy. I need you to work with me. Because I feel like I already kind of lucked out with the current amount of torpidity that you have. And there's bound to be... Maybe he can hit the trees? I don't know if it's just rocks or if it's any, like, object. Nope, see, you can also hit trees? Nope, trees don't count. Okay, oh god. I'm losing control already. My guy's starving, but that's gonna have to wait. There's gotta be some rocks over here. There is. Okay, thank the lord. There's one rock, there's another rock. And he hit the oil and popped out? No way, man! That's so ridiculous! So the oil node pops him out as well. And now I am... about to be in a storm... with absolutely no marker for my wyvern. And if a sandworm comes up under me right now, I don't know if there's much I can do. I might be able to spam it down with the sniper rifle. Oh, please tell me that's a storm and not a sand where I'm coming after me. Oh my sweet Jesus. I think he's up and over here. My wyvern. Is this just going to be a lightning storm? I can deal with a lightning storm. But like, can I? Because I won't be able to use my guns, right? If a sandworm comes up, that'd be really bad. So these fasos are very finicky, man. It seems like... I mean, that was close. I wonder if it's... It's probably based on level a little bit. Meaning, like, it's harder to tame, obviously, with a higher level. Like, it needs a headbutt more rocks, but... It seems like you kind of have to luck out with, like, the region in which you find one. Which is pretty wild. If you ask me. The wyvern's right here. Spy Roboy. We're good to go. Let's go find the Oasisaur again. If we find a Faso in a really good spot, we'll grab him. But like I said, he has to be very specifically, like, in a great spot. Lots of rocks nearby and nothing for him to pop up out of. Because you can't really control them very well. Yeah, you can avoid the oil stuff, but, like, most of these little oasises have water and oil and other things. So maybe, like, something over here. You see those big old rocks on the edge that are still kind of in the sand? That might be a prime location to tame him. If we find one. All right, here he is again. Found him. This mother trucker just keeps hiding from me. I, I'm surprised they get so far. I think they, like, will wildly start flying, so that might be why. I'm gonna land up here again. 
And then I believe we just put the soul right in here. Where is it? There we go. Oop. Thylacolio soul. Protect the reincarnation. Oh, he's so cute. And now things start attacking? Is it... What's going to attack? Vultures? Flyers? I'm assuming flyers. Yep, there's one right there. Down and out for the count. How many are there going to be? I hear another one. There we go. Alright, we just need to kind of be alert. There we go. Not too bad, but I, I already kind of have a feeling that this is going to end up rough at some point. And it looks like he got a little bit of a percent. 23%. So, is it per wave? I think it might be per wave. So it's going to be about five waves, give or take. I'm glad I brought the shotgun because I know flyers can get a little wonky with hitboxes. So if they get close down here, I think they're going to try to attack the baby thylacolio and the, it, it has an HP bar. So if it kills the baby thylacolio, I think we lose. Another wave incoming. Oh gosh, while the oasis is turning. Oh, that's awful. Oh, hitboxes. There we go. You're coming in. I'm glad we're not moving anymore. I'm glad I have this snipe rifle because if I had to shoot twice, this would be ridiculous. There we go. Nope, potato. We're good. Reloading. There's another one coming from somewhere because it didn't say the wave was over. No, we have a green. We're good. It's green. Okay, nice. And that's going to be 46.2%. All right. So three more waves. Are they going to send more than vultures? Imagine if they sent wyverns or something. Oh my god. I would throw up. Okay, Oasis, or please stop moving. If this next wave comes in and you're moving, we're going to have some issues, buddy. We are going to have some issues. Okay, he listened. He stopped moving. So he's a good little Oasis, or. There we go. There's so many coming. I hear another one close. Okay, no. No. You're coming in close. No. Okay. Ugh. I would like to reload. Why are we going into my inventory? I need to reload the shotgun. This one's coming down. Come on. Oh, there's more. Oh, gosh. I just shot the Oasisaur. I hopefully shooting the Oasisaur doesn't cause issues. Wave complete. Um, 69.3%. Okay, so it doesn't look like shooting the Oasisaurs matters that much. Obviously, we want to avoid doing that because he is taking damage, but it's not ruining the tame. So we just got to be careful. Make sure our gun is reloaded and make sure we don't miss. But it, luckily, I think we're in a good little rotation here where the Oasis or should stop moving as the thing spawns. And I'm just going to do circles. Okay, see, that's bad. We can't miss. Gotta stop missing. And it looks like these are taking two shots a pop now. I'm just going to go ahead and reload. Glad I brought the shotgun. Another one coming down. See you later. I'm just going to keep using the shotgun for now. There's so many coming. There's so many coming. Alright, my wyvern's attacking too. I thought I had him on passive. I guess I don't. Reload, reload, reload. Another one coming. That's another wave complete. Okay, he's half HP. All right, no picnic, no panic. Spyro, I'm just gonna leave you over there, buddy. What are you doing? You just eat a rock or something? <sighs> okay, can't miss. Gotta just be ready and on point, man. This is the final wave. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Are we flying right now? Dude, this is not the time to fly. You're definitely flying right now. Oh my God. Buddy, I need you to stop moving. You're going to make it so much harder to aim. There you go. One down. Two down. Maybe an extended mag would have been smart for this. Let's just reload this preemptively.
There we go. No, no, no. HP's low. HP's low. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is gonna be hard, man. Alright, back at it again. I have been busy. I have tamed Authority Dragon. Higher level one. I hit a couple of Explorer nodes with it. And it is above the level that the Thylacolio was at. We're sitting at 124. Just murdered it and flew over here. Let's see if this will do. I am very concerned with the rain right now, but that's no problem. As long as the thunder doesn't come in and we can still use our gun. I'm gonna see what percent this is gonna tame at based on the level. I'm really hoping that it's about 25% because I know that I can do four waves. As long as I aim a little better. Instead of having full potato. And I'm trying to see where the vultures are now. And, whoa, wait. Does that just do 59%? Does it, like, remember? Does it like thorny dragons or something? Wait a second, that's actually a ton. What's attacking him right now? Something's attacking him from below, though. But I'm just gonna wait, because I think this is only gonna be, like, two... Two waves. As long as the... God, as long as the storm doesn't cover up all the vultures. And whatever's underneath it doesn't kill it? Oh my gosh, dude, this is stressful. I've never had a more stressful tame in my life. Here we go, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Reload, reload, reload before more respawn. There's one. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh my gosh. My gun just bugged out. No, you need to pass it. You're dead. Any more coming? There is. You're dead. Okay. That was definitely hit on my screen, but, you know, to each their own, and oh my god. And the thorny dragon pops out as a baby after. I'm so mad I didn't get this done with the thylacolio. But I'm kind of happy that I got my crazy level 63 thorny dragon back. Heck yeah. And we're flying. Okay, 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 we're flying. We're flying the oasis or. Oh my god, this thing is insane. Okay, thorny dragon's following. And so is the dragon. Well, oh, this guy's hungry. What do you eat? Or am I hungry? No, it's hungry. Do you eat berries? Do you eat souls? Should I be killing the baby right now? How much stamina do you have? You're barely losing any while floating. This is insane. Okay, I want to land it somewhere relatively safe-ish. And I'm really hoping it eats berries and not souls. That would be a little bit easier. We have a level up. And we can do movement speed. Screw it. We're going to have an oasis or that absolutely zooms, because this thing is slow as heck. And here we are. Home sweet home. Oh my god, where am I going to park this thing? Uh, it's going to be rough. We might have to make a separate pen for him, but for now I'm going to put him right in front of my house. Just kind of swing it this way, and then swing it back around. And I have a very important thing for you guys to do. This is probably the biggest thing ever. You need to name the Oasisaur in the comments. This thing is massive. This is absolutely crazy, though. I'd love to just keep cranking the movement speed so this thing actually hauls, and then we could just live off the back of it. We don't even need a house anymore. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to come in perfect here. Might be able to land it, like, right on top of the sauna for wyvern hatching for now. Until we hatch more wyverns, and then we'll see how it goes. Boop. There we go. Like a glove. It's parked. And then I can kind of use his head to get off and not take fall damage. And there we go. What a good boy. He's nice and parked. Oh my lord. 
And I want to go see if we can't also get a Faso, man. A Faso would be sick. Not gonna lie. Goodbye, Sabertooths. Fasasaur spotted right there. Oh, he just, he's moving around, actually. It looks like he's awake. Looks like the scorpion. What the heck? Is he spawning like a whirlwind? What in the hell? Is he blocking in the scorpion? That is super cool. Am I going to be able to do that when I tame him? Nice. Okay. I haven't seen that before. So when he eats the scorpion, he might go back to bed. But for now, we're going to have to find one that's already sleeping. And it's got to be near rocks. And like I said, I also want to hunt down a worm. Looks like the uh, deep desert crate's back, and this is where we saw the worm before. So maybe he's still out here? I'm not sure. Definitely gonna grab this again, though. No whammies, no whammies. Ooh, a nice 203 sword. That's gonna come in handy for the caves. That's for darn sure. But we're still on the hunt. Fasasaur nest spotted. Right there next to all these scorpions. Which might actually scare it out of the ground, so we're going to have to be quick. There's some rocks over there. It looks like there's some more trees and rocks over there. This might actually be like a relatively decent location. But I have to take out these scorpions before it wakes it up. We have four more C4, so four more attempts at getting one of these guys, at least for now. But I have a good feeling about this try. I had a good feeling. 81 Vulture, oh my god. If you wake up the Faso, Mr. Vulture, we're gonna not be friends. Not that we were friends in the first place. But we will definitely not be friends if you wake that guy up. Give Spyro a little snack, a little bit more melee damage in case we come across a worm to fight. Alright, and then I'm gonna sneak up to him again. Throw the C4 out, and then I think I'm just going to take him right towards Red Obby. Because there was a lot more rocks over there. And it probably is dependent on level, just like any other tame. So if he's a lower level, it should be easier. If he's a higher level, it'll be harder. And take a little longer. That should be within proximity, I hope. There we go. Little Metro Boom on the ground to get him rocking. And then I'm just going to cut right up and towards Red Obby, like I said. There's a lot more rocks over here to work with. A little afraid of all the evil stuff, though. That could get involved here. And we also don't want him to pop out of the ground. There's one rock, just like that. A rock, a tree, whatever it takes. Oh, this is definitely a higher level one. And just like that, it wakes up. I'm. Can I just outrun it, maybe? If I can just outrun it, and maybe it'll go back in... Maybe it'll, it'll stop chasing, and then it'll go back into the ground, maybe? Please stop chasing me, I want to tame you. Please. You're not going to listen to me, are ya? I'm going to have to kill you. Which is absolutely bonkers. I think I have to keep him out in the sand. But they're kind of, like, everywhere. Like, I'm seeing a lot of them. A lot, they're not, like, sleeping or anything, so I can't pull them out of the ground, but they're they're everywhere. So just doing a few more laps, we should come across them. There's the Colosseum as well. But I guess we'll leave the Faso alone and try to go for the Sandworm now. Where would I be if I was a worm? Come on, you stupid wormies. Come and get me. I'm stepping on your sand. Stepping on the beach. Doo, 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 doo. Are you angry? Oh, hey, well, hey, 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 there is one angry. Okay, no, 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 good, 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 good. Okay, so maybe stepping on the sand actually gets them to come out. I did- got- took 200 damage from that. Oh, I just burned him in the ground. Okay, there we go. Nice. I think this might be the strategy here. Is that a second one that just popped out of the ground? Oh my Jesus. That's not good. I don't know how much HP these things have. How many sweeps it's gonna take. Oh, I really didn't want to fight two right now. Really didn't want to fight two. But I can get them, like, as they go back into the ground. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Oh. All right, burn the vulture. They are taking a little bit of damage. I already need Stan. 
I think the tick damage on the fire is worth it, but I, I might just need more wyverns. Oh, he's coming up for me. Are they both coming or just one of them? Just one of them? Okay, no, they're both coming. I was gonna say just one would be great, but I guess we could just kind of like scoot off in any general direction. I'm just gonna bite it. I'm just gonna fight it. Let's see what we can do. Not sure how much HP these have. Not sure if Spyro can do it or not. Might need a little bit of help. But we're gonna try our darndest. Doesn't look like it's getting bloody and I'm already at half HP. There we go. Maybe some Rexes or something would be better for this. Because as much as these Wyverns do damage, they don't do like a lot. And they're not super tanky because of the lack of armor. But I guess if I keep spitting on it, eventually I'll be able to get it going. I can't tell if it's bloody or not. Because it keeps going under the ground. He's coming back up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just want to get as much stamina as I can before it pops up. Alright, he's back out. Or he's not back out yet. I'm going to go down here again and land. I'm just going to try to regain stam. Before he comes up. Alright, here he comes. Give it a quick flip. He doesn't even look remotely bloody. But as we mentioned before, we can burn them while they're in the ground. So that's kind of best case scenario, I think. Is if we get those fire stacks while he's in the ground and try to avoid being hit. If that's even possible. He's going to have to go back in to get up to me. And then while he's coming up, I'm just going to breathe fire forward. Okay, no, so I can only breathe fire on him when he's, like, kind of coming out of the ground already. And I don't know, are they healing when they go back in? And I'm getting heat stroke now. So we're gonna have to prepare, like, a little micro army just to fight this thing, I think. There we go, burn him for a bunch of 73 ticks. Beautiful, he's going back in. I'm gonna land over here. Oh, they can walk in the sand. They don't even have to go under. I just saw that. Didn't know that. All right. Let's go a little farther down the sand dune. It should still be aggroed on me. Regain the stam, regain the stam. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's healing underground. The tail of my wyvern is pretty much a sandworm. Here we go, breathe fire. Breathe fire again. All right, now he's gonna come up. I got a bite off, we're good, but it got a bite off too, which is not good. There we go. Okay, that fire didn't hit. And man, I wish I had like tech glasses or something to see what its HP is at. Doesn't look like it's getting bloody at all, man. I don't know if we could do this. I think Faso is going to be like right place, right time, and we'll just scoop one while we're fighting death worms. But, I mean, we got the Oasis Sword today. The Death Worms are creepy as heck, but I think we're going to have to do a few extra Wyverns. Maybe like three or four of them get one to pop out of the ground and then just bite him from above. So we're going to have to do a little bit more egg stealing as well. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you made it this far in the video, then you probably enjoy my little adventures that I go on. Be sure to hit the sub button if you haven't already. A like and a comment helps the channel tremendously. Make sure that it gets sent out to more people. And if you want more people to watch so I can make videos longer, then you need to go ahead and interact with it. Thank you so much for hanging out today. And again, I will see you in the next one.